Hi, good day. So delighted to be here at Confectionery Live today to speak to you about the work that's happening across the cocoa and chocolate supply chain. My name is Kate Clancy. I'm leading sustainability for cocoa and chocolate here at Cargill. And we believe that together with everyone across the supply chain, we can be connected for more. But before I speak to the cocoa and chocolate supply chain, I'm going to speak a little bit to Cargill because Cargill believes that agriculture actually has the potential to be a great solution. Cargill connects farmers with markets, customers with ingredients and families with the daily essentials that they need from the foods you eat to the floors you walk on to the indulgence that you enjoy when you bite into chocolate. In fact, our purpose is to be the leader in nourishing the world in a safe, responsible and sustainable way. As the world faces extraordinary challenges from climate change to food insecurity, delivering on our purpose is more critical than ever before. And this is exactly what we're doing in the cocoa and chocolate business. In fact, we've been doing this for many years already, and I'll speak a little bit more to that in a few slides. We believe that if we work together and we work collectively, we can actually create a thriving cocoa sector for generations to come in which many people benefit. But you might be asking yourself, why is it so important to work on sustainability in the cocoa and chocolate sector? Let me tell you a little bit more. Many of the key challenges facing the cocoa sector are actually tied to the geography that cocoa originates from, and in turn to the environmental and social and economic conditions that are present in those countries. In fact, the majority of the world's cocoa originates actually from, from one specific region, West Africa, with Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana being by far the world's largest producers. There are other countries that are producing cocoa and many countries are growing in their interest in introducing cocoa into their mix of agricultural crops. But West Africa remains a primary and important producing region. And many of the issues that we're working on are tied to what is happening in that region. Let's start with some of the economic challenges. The income from cocoa is rather limited. In fact, farmers who are growing cocoa often live below the general poverty line. But the price of cocoa is impacted by many, many factors. It's highly volatile. It's known to fluctuate based on supply and demand, short or longer term weather events, political decisions. And in fact, in many of these countries, the cocoa price is actually set at the farm gate. Nonetheless, cocoa remains one of the most attractive crops and sources of income for cocoa farmers. You might think that farmers would look elsewhere to other crops such as rubber or better paying jobs in the city. And while we do see that young people are moving and looking for different ways to support their livelihoods, many people are still choosing to grow cocoa because it still represents the large majority of a family's income and is something that they feel they know how to do. So what are we trying to do? In addition to the work that we're trying to do to support farmers improve their productivity and profitability of their cocoa farms, we're looking at ways in which we can help them access financial services, property rights, in ways that they can feel more secure about their farms and more willing to invest in their farms as if they're businesses. We're also looking at ways in which we can support other household members access technical trainings and those financial services so that they can also bring in additional and diversified income streams into the household. Let's look now to some of the social challenges facing the cocoa sector. Many of you, I'm sure, have read the headlines and are aware that hazardous child labor is an issue in the sector. But child labor is a symptom of a deeper problem. And it will be a challenge to eradicate if we're not also working on some of the interconnected issues linked to the systemic poverty and the lack of social services in communities. In fact, most of the world's cocoa is grown on small family farms in these less developed countries. And in some situations, families may feel like they have no other option than to use family because they're unable to pay for formal workers. And while light work performed by children or on family farms is acceptable, as long as it doesn't hamper a child's health or development, hazardous child labor is absolutely unacceptable. 
And when we talk about hazardous child labor, we're really talking about the type of labor that is detrimental to a child's physical, mental or emotional well-being and development. How do we address that? We address that also by making available services for children, providing them with access to quality education in facilities that can support them and host their educational outcomes, that can follow them through the years, that maybe provide them with access to nutritious food and adequate training and teachers. We can also work with women, mothers. They often contribute quite a lot of the unpaid adult labor on farms, but they can do many things. They often run their own businesses and generate their own income, and they're often very much unrepresented and underserviced. So we believe that by working with women and giving them access to village savings and loan schemes, microcredit schemes, technical trainings, market access, um, role models, groups where they can come together to discuss their needs, that we might be in a position to help women generate their own income and improve the livelihoods in households. Finally, we'll be talking about some of the environmental challenges facing the sector. More recently, there's been discussion about the fact that there has been a large decline in forest cover in Cote d'Ivoire. And many of this, and much of this, is also due to expansion of agriculture. However, if farmers have improved productivity, they're less likely to encroach into land where they're not meant to be for farming. And further, if governments have strong policies in place and clarity, you then have the institutional capacity to actually enforce forest protection and ensure that cocoa that is entering the supply chain is not made with deforestation. You can also protect and restore forests and ensure that you are conserving the forests that continue to exist. You may be wondering how we actually deliver all of this. Well, it's through the Cargill Cocoa Promise that we launched in 2012. The Cocoa Promise is a distinctive approach that we're taking to secure the sustainability of the cocoa supply chain now and in the future. For us, it's the vehicle through which we deliver the work to support resilient farmers, improved community livelihoods, and deliver sustainable landscapes. And these are the key areas that we're focused on together with strengthening farmer organizations. Our ambition is really to accelerate progress towards a more transparent global cocoa supply chain, enable cocoa farmers and their households to have better incomes, and to deliver a sustainable supply of cocoa and chocolate products all the way from bean to bar. But we didn't just start this yesterday. In fact, this year we're celebrating 10 years of the Cargill Cocoa Promise. We've been working with cocoa farmers for many, many years, from the early 2000s onwards. We have been working also with our corporate partner, CARE, in cocoa growing communities. We were one of the founding members of the certification standard known as OOTS, which is now also called Rainforest Alliance. And we created the Cargill Cocoa Promise to encompass and host all the activities and programs that we were running across a number of geographies where we're operating. Since then, things have only accelerated. We've increased the first mile digital traceability that we have. We've partnered with organizations that are experts advising us on how we can put in place systems to monitor, prevent and remediate child labor. We were one of the key signatories to the Cocoa and Forest Initiatives, partnering with governments of Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana to ensure that forests remain protected. And since then, we've launched our own portfolio of solutions so that our customers can get involved in the work that's being done. And if they decide to get involved by purchasing a sustainability solution from Cargill, they also get access to our CocoaWise portal. And that is a self-managed user access portal where they can get information around the traceability and sustainability of the products they buy. They can learn more about the people behind the programs, get stories and pictures and quotes so that they can also tell a story about how they're contributing to the sustainability of the cocoa sector. We believe that we're connecting the dots across the cocoa supply chain, but don't take our word for it. Look at some of the numbers in front of you. Here you have just our latest figures in terms of the reach and the outcomes that we're achieving across farming households, communities with cooperative and farmer organization leaders, but also looking at ways in which we can leverage digital tools to ensure that we know where cocoa is coming from and where it's going. 
Take a look at this video to learn a bit more about what we're doing to improve traceability. Change. Cocoa growing communities are ready. Nature is ready. And now more than ever before, even your consumers are ready to invest in a sustainable future. Are you? Change can seem like a big step, but it is not one you have to take alone. We believe the future of sustainable cocoa lies in a collective promise made by all actors involved throughout the supply chain. Introducing the Promise Solutions, a dynamic approach to collaborating with you, our customers, that helps you start or grow your level of involvement in cocoa sustainability, and to do so at your own pace. Building on the strong foundations of the Cargo Cocoa Promise, the Promise Solutions harness the power of technology and innovative digital solutions to strengthen the cocoa supply chain. You'll gain more transparency and confidence in your sustainable supply chain thanks to our direct sourcing from known and trusted farmers and farmer organizations in our network, as well as the opportunity to steer your investments and extend your promise to address the sustainability challenges that matter most to you and your stakeholders, like prioritizing the well-being, education, and economic advancement of women and girls across the globe. Because when women are empowered, communities thrive. To help you monitor the impacts your promise is making on the ground, we created an interactive customer portal informed by an extensive platform of data points along the supply chain. It is a personalized way to deepen your connection with the communities your cocoa is coming from, unlock sustainability impact data, and discover engaging stories and images to share with your consumers and other stakeholders. And when it comes to communicating your promise to partner in the transformation of the cocoa sector in a powerful, compelling way, our collection of country-specific consumer insights are a valuable and inspiring tool for understanding your consumer's perceptions, evolving expectations, and purchase intentions. Cargo Cocoa and Chocolate is here to help you achieve your goal to effect positive change in the sustainable cocoa supply chain and build a brand consumers will trust and love because a change for cocoa communities benefits all, including you. You might be wondering who's actually benefiting from some of the progress we made. Well, actually, this woman, Dorothy, is a woman who had access to one of the women's groups, who also benefited from learning more specific skills so that she could run her business in a profitable way. And we worked together with partners to do that and were supported by our customers. In fact, if you take a look at this other video, you'll look at ways in which you can also get involved. Information is the gateway to a more sustainable cocoa and chocolate supply chain. Consumers want to know where the products they buy come from. At Cargill Cocoa and Chocolate, we are connecting the dots, using cutting edge technology to trace the journey of cocoa, from its beginnings on the ground to how it travels across the supply chain. Our data gathering processes allow us to track delivery of cocoa beans that arrives at our warehouses. Check which farmer organizations it came from, and if needed, trace the beans back to specific farmers and farms. This allows us to keep track of how we're progressing towards our sustainability goals. In particular, our commitment to protecting our planet and eliminating deforestation in the cocoa supply chain. We're connecting the dots on data from mapping farms and warehouses and tracing individual bags of cocoa to scrutinizing satellite imagery to observe forest shifts over time. Data plays a role at every stage of this process, from the micro to the macro level because information is powerful, but only if you use it to take action where it matters most. Cargill, helping the world thrive. But let's look ahead. We may have 10 years behind us, but we also have years in front of us. 
And we believe that we have a better understanding than ever in terms of the issues that we're working on. And we know that we can invest in different ways to address those, such as technology, introducing barcodes on cocoa bean bags, and looking at ways in which we can ensure that technology can deliver payments for cocoa securely and ways that it can collect data efficiently and make that available to our customers. We're going to be scaling up solutions even more across the geographies where we operate. We're looking to expand the over 60 partnerships that we already have with technical advisors, implementing partners, academia, financial institutions, and our customers to make sure that we can go further. And we know that that will help us build even more resilience in cocoa farming households. And all of this is going to help us strengthen the trust, the trust of our customers, of their customers, employees in our and your organizations, and stakeholders are interested in seeing and understanding what we're actually doing on the ground. From our perspective, our sustainability solutions are going to support us in building a sustainable supply chain that works for everyone. They already are, and they will continue to do so. Thank you, Confectionery Live, for the invitation and the opportunity to speak to the audience today.